join us today um, on the North Yorkshire Moors, the A169 to be more precise. We've just been to a new a cafe that opened earlier this year, the NY500, which uh, I've never been to before, so that was quite interesting. We've got, um, as I say, a cafe um, and some classic cars inside as, and some bikes as well, so definitely worth a look if you're ever out this way. But the real reason I've came up here today is to um, drive the roads over the North Yorkshire Moors towards uh, Gothland and Whitby and possibly later on we may head over the top towards Gisborough and uh, down another road that um, I've wanted to check out for a while heading down from Stokersley which is supposed to be uh, another great driving road. So to the left here we have this uh, big gorge which Legend has it that was caused when a giant scooped up the earth and uh, threw it at another giant. Although personally I thought it was some geological event that happened millions of years ago. I've actually got some parasenders today over there which is uh, quite a sight. But then the road drops away quite steeply and we've got uh, a series of tight bends as we come down here. There, the landscape starts to change from uh, fields to moorland heather. The view here is fantastic, the road drops away, we've got a tight hairpin over this bridge and then uh, the road climbs again over the moors. It's actually brightening up a little bit. It's one of those roads up here where the weather can be really bright everywhere else and you can get up here on a summer's day and it can be like the dead of winter with fog but I can see the mist starting to lift actually and the sun trying to break through. Um, as we get closer to the coast you can actually see um, out to sea beyond Whitby uh, on, a, on a clear day but before we get there we're going to take a slight detour um, to the village of Gothland. Now uh, it's the village used in um, Heartbeat um, which portrays the village of Aidensfield but um, it's quite interesting to look around there's also an old railway station and you can get a steam train from Pickering um, I believe all the way out to Whitby and throughout the year there's various events like in Whitby they have, have the um, goth weekend and the war weekend um, and you often see people uh, around the area and indeed on the train as well um, in period clothing. <laughs> So we've got this 25% um, descent down into Gothland and then obviously the road narrows as we come over the bridge you can actually see the old um, old style railway signals um, obviously off to the side of the road. We've got this narrow little bridge that we climb over but um, it really is like stepping back in time the station there with the old, um, the old rolling stock in there as well. And it's the same when you actually come around into the village, it's um, almost like the village has been trapped in time, it's as if you've got to the 1960s and time just hasn't moved, but that's the, the whole part of the charm of this, um, of this little North Yorkshire village. And it does attract quite a lot of tourists, probably hence why we're now stuck behind a coach. But we can already see people queuing up outside the um, Aidensfield Arms. And we've even got the old uh, we've got Scripps garage over to the side as well, which appears to be being used as a shop. But uh, obviously in the TV series that was the garage. Even the street furniture, the signage and everything here is all very uh, 1960s. 
So here I am in the village of Gothland. Um, definitely worth stopping and taking a look around if you've never been before. There's um, quite a bit to see actually in this uh, village. Obviously it's where the uh, hit TV series Heartbeat was um, filmed up until uh, the early 2000s. Obviously it was set in the 1960s so everything in the uh, village was sort of period. There's a few more modern features creeping in now but still, uh, still quite old fashioned nonetheless. Um, we just had a bit of a look around some of the store, old, uh, the old fashioned shops in here as well. There's obviously tea rooms and things like that as well. So this is in the sort of main part of the village, um, in this sort of triangle here. And then a bit further down, we've not walked down there yet, but there's the uh, Aidan's Field Arms, which was um, another sort of important landmark in the TV series, because obviously it was a place where um, a lot of the characters in the series uh, used to meet up so there was a lot of scenes shot in there as well um, one thing to be aware of when you do come here is walking around there's uh, must be lots of ducks and sheep and things because everywhere you step you um, yeah let's just say you've got to be very careful not to step in something unpleasant but uh, otherwise yeah definitely a nice village to have a come and, come and have a walk around um, car parking there is very limited parking in the middle of the village which um, is free for about 20 minutes I believe but uh, we couldn't actually get in any of those spaces so we've ended up in the paying display which is about three pounds or three pounds fifty I think it was all day for a car um, and I think about six pounds for larger vehicles <laughs> That was a steam train coming in, which I presume will now be heading off towards Pickering. Before you reach Whitby you have to drop down uh, a hill known as Blue Bank, very very steep hill with an escape lane on but uh, it's quite a view um, off to the side but uh, yeah definitely wouldn't want to uh, run away too quickly down this hill. And there's the escape lane at the side. So after a drive over the moors to Whitby, naturally you work up quite an appetite and ordinarily in Whitby you'd go to the Magpie. It's uh, quite a well-known fish and chip shop and uh, generally people do queue out of the door. But uh, today we went to one a bit different called Papa's, which was really nice and uh, I would say well worth a visit. We actually sat in um, and uh, yeah, the decor was nice, the staff were friendly, the food was brilliant. I'd recommend uh, go for the medium um, haddock and chips like I had because to be honest unless you've got a very big appetite you're not going to finish anything larger than that so after having something to eat and a bit of a walk around the harbour next we're going to uh, go up onto the hill opposite which you can just see in the background um, up to the church on top so for October the weather's actually surprisingly mild here in Whitby for an evening as well um, water's also quite calm now I have actually been here in the middle of winter uh, and the seas have been uh, lapping up at the side of this jetty here so it's uh, quite a pleasant surprise today and 
quite busy, quite a few people walking about as well. If you're a fan of the Dracula stories, then you'll probably know Whitby all too well. But if you've uh, not been here before, it's well worth a visit, as was uh, Goathland. The drive over the moors again, um, on a quiet day, definitely worth doing. It can get a little busy though at times. I know uh, we were coming over mid-morning and it weren't too bad traffic-wise, but uh, it was just starting to pick up a little bit. So uh, obviously in the height of summer, the middle of the day, it can be extremely busy. And it's not just cars driving over there, as it's the sort of main route um, over to this part of the coast, you get commercial traffic as well. So it can become quite slow going, but hit it at the right time. It's a fantastic drive. So when you catch up with me again, hopefully we're going to be up on top of that hill. There's supposedly a few hundred steps up to that church. Um, I can't remember exactly how many, and to be brutally honest, I can't be bothered counting them. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. So finally at the top, I think that's about 199 steps or thereabouts to the um, to Whitby Abbey. But the view from up here is fantastic. It's definitely well worth it. And obviously if you're a Dracula fan, you'll love walking around the uh, graveyard up here as well. So as I mentioned before, um, it, the 1986 Simply Red hit um, Holding Back the Years was filmed right up here for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, must have been the last few visits to Whitby I've not been up here, so it's nice to come up here today. Anyway, as you can see, the light is actually starting to fade a little now. But uh, So I don't think we're going to have time to do the planned run across the tops to Gisborough um, and Stokersley and down another road I want to check out so that might have to be a job for another day but uh, nonetheless it's been a good day today so if you enjoyed this kind of content it's not something we've really done much of before do let me know in the comments and uh, we might see if we can produce something something else like this again uh, possibly with a little bit more driving in it maybe if you uh, if you are enjoying this please do hit the subscribe button as well uh, that way you won't miss any future videos and hopefully there will be more of this sort of thing coming along soon. Um, we've also got the Halloween special planned very soon as well, so keep an eye out for that one. And until next time, thanks very much for watching and it's goodbye from me.